What is up YouTube? My name is John Beskup and I'm back again with another installment in the Electric Trumpet video series detailing my use of effects pedals with the trumpet. And today I'm making a video about the Auto Wah from Source Audio. And I've been through several different Auto Wahs. I've tried a bunch. This is my favorite and I'm going to go through all the reasons why. And out of all the pedals on this board, I would say I strongly recommend this pedal to other trumpet players who are looking for auto wah, especially any of you who might play funk music. So here is a view of the pedal itself. This is the uh, Source Audio Auto Wah Bass Envelope Filter Pro. Uh, so it's got a few features that the normal version doesn't have. Uh, going through anything of relevance here, we've got the, the main control knob here, which as you can see has uh, in-between modes. So like when the two LEDs are illuminated like that, you're actually uh, on the step in between these two numbers. So there's a ton of numbers, there's a ton of modes on this dial here as you can see. Uh, so that's really nice, you've got many different filter types. Uh, honestly, the nuances of a lot of those different filter types are kind of lost on me. Uh, but it's kind of one of those things where you just kind of play around with it until you arrive at a setting that sounds good to you and uh, that's all that really matters in the end. Uh, we've also got uh, the frequency control here. Uh, if you want the wah, auto wah to sweep down like ow or if you want it to sweep up like wah. So that's that wah 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 sound right there. Uh, you've got the speed. And what's really cool about this pedal is that the fast is really fast. So other auto wahs that I've used just didn't get fast enough. Uh, this one's got a lot of speed to it. Uh, and then we've got a mix here with wet at one end, dry in the center, and then wet again at the other end with this low retain setting here. As you can see, you've got a graphic EQ in the center, and you've got uh, this little button here which switches between preset banks so one through three four through six and then these are the buttons that change between presets so this is one two three hit the button switch banks four five six and as you can see I've got them labeled here with what they're doing on my settings so I've got two auto waz in here one's kind of mellow one's kind of in your more in your face two step filters in here again one's kind of mellow one's in your face and then two different uh, LFO sweep modes so, LFOs. This pedal has LFOs, um, unlike a lot of other auto waz, so you can kind of have it do a variety of interesting things. And um, you may notice this text right here, back page mode. This is really kind of the secret sauce about what makes this particular auto waz so amazing. Because uh, if you enter the back page mode, you can step through uh, with the aid of the manual and what it's actually doing. Uh, you can step through a wide variety of settings, including uh, the Q of the filter, which is crucial. Uh, so I'm going to go back out of back page mode. Without having the manual in front of me, I'm not sure how exactly how to do that. But you can adjust the Q of the filter, um, which is really, in my opinion, kind of an essential feature for an auto wah. You've got to be able to adjust that Q uh, to really get it to bite. Uh, and so I'll do a little bit of playing and show you... Uh, the different modes that I, the different presets that I created and why I like this pedal so much. All right, so preset number one, uh, auto wah with, uh, you can see the EQ shape here and sort of a mid type of cue, not a very aggressive cue on the filter. <laughs> So contrast that with a more aggressive cue on my preset number four and uh, more of the EQ there on the filter. So you can hear there's more resonance to that, there's more bite to that. 
Uh, it's got more grit to it. That Ottawa is really there. And what's also wonderful about this source audio filter that none of the audio, uh, none of the other Ottawa's that I played with have really done is the envelope will also close as well as open. So if you play quietly, which is I'm going to I'm going to try to do right now, you can get the envelope to open up with the attack of a note and then slowly close off. Uh, as the volume of the, the note diminishes. So here's an example of uh, the filter closing. Let's see if I can do this. Basically by adjusting the volume of the signal you can get that to close. Uh, and if you can kind of combine that, this effect with other things like, I'll put a little delay on it, uh, you can hear how that can be really neat. So kind of stuff like that where maybe that wasn't the greatest example, but where when you're playing a phrase and you bring the volume down, that envelope closing can add a real nice touch, especially if it happens at just the right moment, kind of some magical moments can be generated from that. Uh, so moving on to the LFO controlled filters in this, it's got a lot of different wave shapes uh, as you can see there um, on the side of the EQ, each one of those is a wave shape you can select for your LFO and I've done four different presets here using different wave shapes essentially. I'm going to go back to preset bank number one and switch to what I've labeled a step filter here. Uh, this is probably technically not a step filter in terms of what the definition of a step filter actually is, but that's what it sounds like, so that's how I've labeled it. Uh, and this works for held notes by what it's using is a random random peak uh, LFO wave sweeping through those frequencies there and making different frequencies pop out. So it's sort of like a computer noise. <laughs> You can even hear it still going when there's no input. Uh, and so if I switch to the other more aggressive Q filter, it's just the same thing but with more oomph to it. So that's pretty <laughs> interesting. Some uh, cool moments can come out of that. And where I find that actually most useful musically is I'll interject it briefly in the middle of a phrase. So anytime when I've been playing a bunch of notes and then I want to have a held note as sort of a con counterpoint to a busy section, kicking that on is a cool way to ha have texture in, in a moment where you're just kind of holding a note that would otherwise just be sort of static. Uh, and then my last two presets here on the end are uh, with triangle waves. So these are s sweeps. I've got one that's slow here. So that's kind of interesting. You can uh, tweak the speed on this to make it a lot cooler. So, for instance. So I can use that to different effects. That's the lasers mode. Uh, so here back to the preset number one. So there's an example of how you can sync licks with the, the tempo that it's doing. And actually that wasn't uh, just a 
that wasn't a sawtooth wave, that was a stepped wave. So a series of incrementing steps going up and down. There's a variety of wave functions in there which are all pretty interesting. And uh, I think that about does it for all the things I love about this pedal. So the speed of the envelope closing in the fast mode is really what I found on this pedal but none of the other envelope pedals that I tried could compete with it all. Uh, the closest one was probably Solid Gold FX Funkzilla, which is an awesome envelope pedal, but this one does it one better, uh, as well as with the addition of these presets, uh, that's really crucial, because all the different possible settings in an envelope filter, it's really easy to do reach for it in the moment and have it be set up wrong. Uh, so when you wanted to do something you had in your head, it's really easy to screw that up, and not actualize what your idea was because it's not set up correct. So presets eliminates that possibility. Uh, and that's also a leg up, a major leg up, with the pro version of this source audio pedal versus the one right below it, which doesn't have presets. So uh, as a trumpet player who plays funk music, I cannot say enough good things about this pedal. I use it all the time. I use it probably too much, because it's just so good. It's hard to stay away from it. Um, and people who don't know much about effects have commented on it. Uh, I got a few people after a performance come up to me and said, I really like that percussive stuff you were doing, whatever that was. And so, I mean, people who don't even know much about effects will notice that and, and they like it. And then um, the waveform shapes also is really neat. The Funkzilla also does that, but this has more customizability, that back page mode really adds a lot of depth uh, to creating your own sounds and getting the most out of it, which is uh, kind of a struggle on the trumpet. but you sort of need to have more control or the ability to make the effect in general, whatever effect it is, sort of punch more, because in my experience, effects that are sort of subtle just don't do enough uh, to really make a noticeable difference in the sound. Anyway, hope you enjoyed this video. Uh, if you want to hear it, this pedal in action, look in the video description. I'll try to post some jams with the full band where I'm using this and so you can hear how it fits in in the moment uh, and kind of some of the awesome things that I was alluding to, how they, how they really actualize and create neat musical moments, not just sort of a novel effect. Because uh, that's what you want to achieve with all of this stuff is real musical moments, not just novel effects. Uh, and also check out uh, reddit.com slash r slash electric trumpet if you want to talk to other trumpet players who are interested in doing this kind of thing. My website is microcosmologist.com and uh, there's a link at the bottom for subscribing to my YouTube channel if you enjoy this. There's a lot of other comments or content uh, for you to check out this in this same vein. And if you want to hear this stuff in action, check out any of my other videos. I've got a ton of them, uh, a lot of performances. Thank you for watching.